What am I scared? Hello, that would be nice. <laughs> what a deeply disaster happened for I used to be so ballerina -y. You're, you're pregnant. <laughs> I, used to, I can't do that anymore. You're pregnant. <laughs> Okay, she's back, only five days later, but a whole lot less snotty. Literally after that footage that you guys have just seen, I ended up in bed. I literally came home, went straight to bed for two days straight. I even missed work, which I don't make a habit of. I really don't like missing work. I've been very optimistic thinking I could film that day. However, there are pros to this because I am snotless and I'm childless. Win-win. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me today. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think it's because I've actually got a whole day where Lila Rose is at Nanny's and I can literally do what I want to do. Like, this doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. Before I forget, actually, what you did just see in that montage of me getting that paint, I actually took the paint back in the end. I changed my mind. I was going to paint the fireplace and then I just, I thought, scrap it. The fireplace is fine. I'm just... Do you know what I did? Okay, let, let me be honest with what I did. I got sucked into Instagram and Pinterest. <laughs> it's so difficult when you live in a rented house, but you've got a certain style. Like I love the country farmhouse cottage look. I grew up in it and I just, I love it and it's beautiful. And then I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I realized that I'm scrolling for like half an hour straight looking at beautiful houses, feeling discontentment of my own house, which is silly. So I thought, do you know what? No, stop. Lost See? Stop. Stop. You've got a house. You've got a roof over your head. You can actually afford the rent, which I know so many people are struggling to do. You've got a child. You've got a family. It is okay to be in rented. It is just frustrating that you can't make this your own when you're in rented. I mean, for example, I'd love to rip this whole kitchen out. There is just cabinets just peeling off. It's absolutely awful. I'd love to do that. I'd love to paint the walls, but there's only so much you can do and I just thought be grateful for what you have. This is what this video is about. I, I decided that I was going to spend a day just doing a few little tweaks around the house. Not spending loads of money. I mean I am going to do a little haul for you but trust me I've tried to do this on a budget but I thought I would just make a few tweakments around the house to make things feel just more to my rustic style. Yeah what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. That is what I'm trying to say, basically. Obviously, I've been off of YouTube for a little while, so what you guys haven't seen, if you don't have me on Instagram, we have done a few different bits. I mean, we've got a new sofa. I will show you. For example, let me show you. Let me show you. This is my little upcycle project. My first ever upcycle project, may I say. Quite pleased with how it turned out, actually. So if you guys remember, we had a big Calax unit with all of Lila Rose's toys in it. And like I said, I wanted something a bit more country. I had been looking for months to try and get a sideboard, something that just is a bit more to my style. Every time I looked at sideboards that were similar to this kind of thing, it was like up to £600. Not gonna happen. So I got this one off of Marketplace and I'll literally show you, I'll put on screen right now what this did look like so before and after. If you guys want to know how I actually did this I have got it saved to my highlights I think under DIY projects or something like that and I basically explained how I actually did this it's really simple to be honest what the paint I used as well and also where I got the handles from so yeah head on over to my Instagram if you want to just know a little bit more. Okay let me show you guys what I picked up now there's not loads of stuff here but like I said I'm doing this on a budget I've got a plan okay I've got a plan so let's just roll with it. I'll show you what I got and then you'll see through the video how I'm styling it and hopefully the plan will fall into place, she says. Okay, so I went to the range. Oh my God, by the way, when I go back to the range, it will be for autumn and I am totally doing an autumn decor haul. I cannot wait. Anyway, getting off track. First thing I picked up, oh, I could not pick this up. This was meant to be 8 99 I think it was. And we got back into the car and realized it was actually a fiver on the receipt. I'm gonna do like a little display corner in my kitchen just to make it feel a little bit cozier. I definitely need some more lighting in there because it's so dark in there. So I've got a plan for that one. Right, next thing I picked up, these were 3 dollars for a box of eucalyptus fairy lights. And I actually took these out of the box so I could see what they would look like. They're not like the best quality, but when I actually put them where I want to put them, I feel like, you know, we could get away with this. And I did try them as well to bring in a little bit more colour, to bring in a little bit more rusticness. I really like these. I also picked up... 
a little biscuit jar. You know that mum that always has freshly baked cakes on the side and a biscuit tin that's actually full of biscuits, not half full, not quarter full, but full? I wanna be that mum. I want the chance for people to come over and me to be like, want a biscuit? Out of my little biscuit tin. <laughs> but yeah, this was only 8 99 which I don't think is that bad. My plan is to take off the pink, but I've got in my craft box, I had some of this twine, so I'm just gonna wrap that round and bring in that kind of rustic-y look. Oh, and I even brought the biscuits to go inside. Yeah, becoming that mum. <laughs> Yay, you got the right ones. Last one. Last one? I did say I wonder if they would sell, because people will use these for autumn. Oh, oh wrong side of the box. That's so much bigger than I thought. Oh, he's right. These are really heavy. Whoa. For £15, I thought this was a really good deal considering in the autumn section, they have a really small lantern with, I think it was like a battery operated candle and then like an autumn like decor leaves around the candle. And I thought it looked beautiful, but it was like 12 99 And I thought, do you know what? I could do that myself. I feel like you can change up the inside. So you can do an autumn display inside of here, or you could do a Christmas display inside of here. And you can like change it for the seasons. So I thought for your money, it's way worth the money to get these. I mean, look at the size of that. I'm really pleased with that. Oh yeah, I got distracted then, didn't I? So yeah, I got the biscuit tin. And then I saw this one, which is something that I've been wanting to get for ages but I haven't been able to find the right one. When I saw the biscuit tin right next to it in the same range they had this, I don't even know what you would call this but this was only $1.99 which I thought was really good. If you guys don't know what this is the idea is you know when you're cooking and you put like your spoon or your spatula down on the side. A lot of the time I use a kitchen roll and then <laughs> the tissue gets stuck to the, the spatula and then I've got like a whole entire mess. This is basically one of those those rests for it which i thought was actually really good and really cheap as well for the range next up is george so i only picked up a couple bits from you okay he's like that <laughs> can i come through <laughs> if you hear him resting around it's because he's just made his lunch and he's uh, eating his lunch so i got a set of canvases from team U, which was really really good price and i will show you when we go upstairs but i needed some frames to put them in and in lila rose's room we've got this kind of light wood effect so everywhere else i think when i looked in wilco and stuff like that something similar was six pound per one these were 225 so i picked up six of them because i have six canvases it was a pack of six but like i said i'll show you when we go up those canvases, they are so beautiful and the, the price as well. I mean, Team you, you've got my vote. Then I just picked up a couple bits in b &M. This one was in the sale section. So they have that aisle of sale back again. They don't always have it, but they have it back now. This was only three pound. I thought I'd pick that one up. This one here, this wasn't in the sale, but Oh, I couldn't not pick it up. Both me and Rick both said, this just smells absolutely incredible. It looks sage, but it's not. It's like a creamy color. Amber linen. I love linen smells, but I don't even know what amber is, but it makes it better. I don't even know where I'm gonna put that, but I just couldn't resist the smell. So the only other two things I picked up were actually from a charity shop. I love going to the charity shop and just seeing what little bits they have for decor. You can just get some real bargains and I would just highly recommend secondhand shopping. So first thing I picked up was this one. This might not be to everyone's taste, but I thought this was really rustic and I just loved it. This was four pound. How cute is this? And then the only other thing I picked up I didn't really need to pick this one up at all because I've got so many candle holders and things like that, but this was only two pound. Right, let's show you guys what I want to do and how I want to style this stuff. And I'll show you upstairs actually as well what I've done with Lila Rose's room and yeah, what I'm going to do with those frames. Here we go. <laughs> I should slow down 
settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say Okay, so these are the prints that I was on about that I got from Timu. This is the first time I ordered from Timu, and let me say, the reviews are absolutely right. These were $4.97, I think, and I will put the link down in the description so you can get the exact same ones. But they've got so many different canvases, and it is literally canvas paper as well which I think is amazing. This isn't sponsored, but definitely going back to Team U for buying like more home stuff. I only did like a really small order because I was that skeptical. But since then, got loads more in my basket and so has Rick. So um, definitely using you again, Team U. So let's get these up on the wall and then we can do that tour. Let's go. Ta-da. Oh, I am so happy with how this has turned out. Because we can't paint the walls, that has just given it so much more color in here. Look how cute this is! Let's do a little tour for you guys. So if you haven't got me on Instagram, then you wouldn't have seen what we've actually done. So I'm actually stood by the door right now. So if you guys remember, it used to be massive wall-to-wall -wall pink wardrobe, which took up so much room. And then if I turn you guys around, the other end of the bedroom, I don't know if you guys remember, this used to be the feature wall. And then her toddler bed, I think used to be here. And maybe a chest of drawers there. When we found out we were having another one, I had a little panic attack of how on earth we were gonna fit two kids in this tiny little room. So I thought the best idea was to get Lila Rose into her big girl bed earlier but I thought if we went for something with drawers then we could get rid of that huge wardrobe get rid of the chest of drawers that was here and have all of her clothes just underneath the bed so that we're just saving room because we can't paint the walls as well I decided to put this little shelf up here for some sort of decoration to make a feature wall that was the Lila Rose sign that she did actually have on the other feature wall and then I painted it pink along with the little frames either side I painted pink as well then coming around to the corner this is our little book corner I love this so much these are the Ikea shelves, the spice racks, which are only like £4 each, which is really good. I actually prefer to rotate Lila's books out every week. So I always have only six books on the shelf. The rest of the books go down in the sideboard, purely because if we had all of her books out on display, every night when she chooses a book, she'd probably choose the same three for like 365 days in a row. And then coming round again to the other side, I'm actually going to plonk myself on the bed because I'm so out of breath. Obviously, the baby that's coming along will be in our room for a good six months. And I don't know if we're going to still be in this room or whatever so I thought we'd just make this corner how we want it. I decided to condense the toys down as much as possible so that if we are still here when baby sister does eventually move into this room we can shift this around and have baby sister's cot right here exactly where Lila Rose's was. So if we are still here when baby sister comes along my plan would to be have the cot here and then the same kind of thing where we've got drawers underneath and then that just sorts out the whole clothes problem. I've got my neighbour looking at me now. That older woman I'm trying to get the celebrations tin down because I can see it in the shot on the camera and I don't like it. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> a little help would be nice, please. Well, I, think you just have to have I used to be so ballerina you're, you're pregnant. <laughs> I, used to, oh, I can't do that anymore. You're pregnant. <laughs> it's in the shot and I don't like it. It looks really bad. It's been in there since Christmas and yeah, it's like. like you know me, chocolate's been last year. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I hid them from you. So. Oh yeah, you were hiding my snacks. Yeah. I found them! Right, we've got to go get Lila Rose because she's actually been at Nanny's a lot longer than I anticipated. But I have really enjoyed making my house feel a little bit cosy. I love how this looks, it's so cute. I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration for your own house, especially because I know a lot of you are in rented just like me. So I'm gonna go get Lila Rose and then cosy up upstairs or maybe downstairs so that I can appreciate what I've done. I might just chill out in the kitchen actually, just get the duvet and sit on the kitchen floor so that I can look at the lights. <laughs> That's so sad. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate if you do because it just helps to support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.